playoffs on 2K Sports. This is day two, and we're about to get this thing underway to show you what we got. The first game's on. We got the Celtics facing against the Sixers. And now, they are at Wells Fargo Center for the first game of the night. This time, I have the next commentary that we'll have out when you're on the board. We have this Summer Feast, along with the other commentators in the crew. I have another one that will be taking it over right in between. We have his fan, and for the commentary I will have, you all name it. It's what I say, it's just what you can't just leave them out with. It's all for anybody that he has it on the board, and I'll say it's Tyler Beats. And this time, Alan LaForce will be on the sideline here on the other side. We'll see you all later here for the post-game show, here for the first game of the Sixers and the Celtics. Now, let's get show on a roll. Drew Holiday with Derek White, Jalen Brown with Jason Tatum, and Porzingis is in the center. On the other side, Carl Lowry with Tyrese Maxey, and Kelly Oubre Jr. with Tobias Harris, and B. this is in the center. Let's get started. Folks, all yours, it's playoff time. It's the final of the day in Philadelphia and part of Pennsylvania. The Sixers are ready to battle things off here for another rival showdown in between of the upper state and Boston, and we're ready to find out who wins this one. Celtics, Sixers, coming up after this. Greetings everyone, we are at Wells Fargo Center. I'm Son of Beast, and I'm here with my broadcasting partner with Finn, and of course, Tyler Beast is on the sideline. Ali LaForce is on the sideline, and will be on the next one on its way. We've got a great matchup, and we are ready to find out who will take the next win here on the series. Matchup is everything. We're ready to find out who's going to take this win, and I am super excited to see what goes in there. It's going to be a great matchup. Ready for the ball tip off. It starts things on right away. And here we go. We start things in game three, all field and ready to go. Maxi is with Derek White. Then Christoph Porzingis against Porzingis is your key matchup in the center guards. Jalen Brown, he's with on uh, Kelly Oubre Jr. Then we have across Drew Holiday against Kyle Lowry. And finally we have is Jason Tatum on the other side of the range against Tobias Harris. Here's Jason Tatum. He's with the ball. He has some alive ones to take. Brown finds again. White on the outside after a three ball put in for the Sixers. Holiday gets a pass. Brown with the cut inbound for the long drive. Gets good. Brown will take his first bucket in. You know, you gotta watch out with that. And I, I've gotta say this one is gonna take a lot of an effort and a timing. Not the angle that you really want to do. You don't want to make sure that you got that one in the right target. And there is an offensive foul called on Sixers. That would be their first personal on Tobias Harris with no team foul given. That's a big upsetting right now. And it, you know, it, it sometimes happens already and you can't let that one get pulled over. Uh, that push off is not gonna take a lot of chance here. I don't know what it's gonna be, but don't take the risk of it if they have. Now the pass finds again to Tatum. Tatum gives it off to White. White for the shot. And it's good. Derek White will miss first bucket. The range of appearance is now up for the lead. The challenge is for Derek White. He's been really like constipation and he is trying to make sure he gets that one right away. You know, I was having a lot of the heart of it. I'm, I'm trying to research it up for Derek White. How hard is he going to do if he takes it? And he's all alone. Derek White. On the throwdown. That starts things off here for the Celtics after a turnover and rejected by Christoph Porzingis. Now, Christoph Porzingis, I was really was concerning it. If he's going to make that one clean, I would love to see if he could get another block here on Joel Embiid. But that's going to be a little bit harder on that one with the work full credit. Excellent D by Drew Holiday. He's over now again to take the Brown. Tatum on the outside. For the triple. Range off too short. As Joel Embiid with a rebound. Larry 
gives it off to Maxine. He's on the inside of way and rejected by Porzingis. Oh, wow. Porzingis, I don't know how he's going to do. That is a hard one to take. I don't know, how is he going to like handle it off that point? Now MB is in the corner. He finds the pass to Uber Jr. and now give up to Maxi. Maxi towards the outside. He's trying to look for some help. Tobias Harris for the triple. And good. Outside range puts it in. And it's now tied up again. They're really stepping in into it now. It's going to be like a tight game in the battle. Holiday finds again a white. Looks now again. It's stolen by Lowry. On a one on one fast break. Solid performance for Drew Holiday. Now back to Brown. Brown gives it over. The free pointer from the range in the corner by Porzingis. He's over now again to Brown. Last game puts a win against Miami in the first playoff game and in the first round. But the last part of it was the Eastern Conference Finals that I already have made a loss in Game 7 against the Heat. Now, there is nothing else that they can definitely try to maintain. It's all for what they expected to say because this one really is not going to be a little worse, but don't let this one get out of the ball. There's a lot of The first foul is called on Kyle Lowry. That will be his first personal and his first team foul called on the Sixers. Now, that's not where you start things off here. You don't want to make sure you have this one in. The right setup is you can't let that one score in back. That bad, that bad target, can't let that one fool you. First free throw coming up for Drew Holiday at the free throw line, shooting two. Holiday hits the first free throw. There's a lot of choice opportunity range. When you know for Drew Holiday, you got to make sure if you get the hard target in the range, the better offense is not taking a lot of time out there. And you know, this doesn't mean like he doesn't get that one really well enough, but note this, don't let anyone take over Second free throw is good for Drew Holiday. First timeout call by the 76ers, so that'll be their first timeout with under five minutes. Well, it's just not to talk things over right now. I mean, this is not what happens. You gotta make sure they have it all clean. And speaking of which already, we've seen them playing in the second round in for the, the matchup here, as we've seen that last time. The Sixers have been blowing out here in three games against the Celtics. The last one was Jason Tatum that happened to be with a great layup and taking over. They had the 3-0 series, but this one stopped here for game number four as the Sixers are rolling back in. And then game five, it was finished. The Celtics have made it declare to move on to its next round, and that game was not deterrable like they did. Yeah, sometimes it's just not even great. When you say, when you're, when you're playing for the Sixers, you have to make sure you have to keep an eye out for trouble. There's one way that you're going to need to try to let them handle this, is to take all your credits. This worth shot is never going to reach it in here at all time. Make sure you have that one keep an eye on the secret gear if you know how to take one. Yeah, I definitely agree. It's not really easy to take. Philly fans never regret this. But they don't let that one happen to score any droughts if the Celtics or the other teams could try to beat them out. They don't want that one to get defended. And now some new changes here on the court as we have a look at the Eastern Conference standings. The Sixers are trying to pull their way into the spot. They let it up here in a close game situation here, but they're nearing the seventh seed here for the real game. Yeah, that's definitely what they all do. They don't want that one to get to keep on scoring and drive if they have that one coming. And B, what a drive in. That will start things off here for the processes get on the tight game. Holiday finds again. Porzingis for the try, and this one goes in. Porzingis has his first bucket, and it's passed it over, and Drew Holiday with the assist. Now, you just got to say what Drew Holiday does. You're never going to believe what you're going to say about Drew Holiday. He's been going in. Draw and B, back to the again, Tyrese Maxey. The screen puts it in. Watching from the corner, Maxey misses the jumper. That range is not even a hard sight. And this one needs to have a good, tough angle. This, it's not what you do. You just got to make sure you have that one fixed up. Now in the pass to Tatum. Tatum now finds a over again to Drew Holiday. The bounce pass to Porzingis. Over on the B. 
solid D performance here as MB grabs his own rebound. Oubre Jr. has a team trail by two. And it's off again. Now back to Maxi. With a Saturday loss against the New York Knicks, he only had a couple of a range here for the free throws, but it wasn't easy enough to keep the luck going. Yeah, it's just quite hard enough when you call for the better arranging angle because it doesn't really happen with the New York Knicks. They did really like a good team. They're just trying to make sure they wanted to get that one up set it again. Porzingis gets back steps and now he finds it over again to quote Derek White. White now finds again to Brown. Five on a shot clock, ranging in, now back again to Holiday for the triple R, and that will go in for a three. He has his first three-pointer of the night. They're up by three, and it's a 13 10 run. Lowry, trying to cut, here's MB, and he puts a layup in. Pass again by Kyle Lowry. Now here's Drew Holiday, he will try to step it in, now finds again to Tatum. Tatum gives again. Holiday back to White. White trying to look for some screen, looking for some help. Now back to Porzingis. Over around Embiid. Tight D and a nice solid defensive effort for Joel Embiid and defensive group. Yeah, the hard one is not turning gray. Oh! My gosh. That is like a biggest shot drive on attack. That's going to pain the rim. That is crazy. Time now called by Boston Celtics with under 2.30 to go. They are starting things off on a quick pace in game three. Just have to say now, I mean, your, your toughest offense is never going to be the same thing, but you've always got to make sure. You have to, when, with a lot of courtesy moment, you're trying to make that one like a good flow. Better angle, better try. i make that one here, I'm sorry. As we approach down here for game four, as we are really breaking this way up right at this moment here, here's the next game that's coming up for you on the other side. First off, we have the next part of the game as the Knicks and the Magic will continue here. That will be tonight's game at 7 p.m. at the Garden. Then following along with the another tonight game as the 10, 10 o'clock game will be the Nuggets and the Warriors on the other side here for the first day in game four. But later afternoon, as we have the next one coming in approaching down, we've got the Bucks versus the Heat at the Kaseya Center for the first game. And then following along with the second game in the Western Conference, we have is the Pelicans taking on against the other team of the Thunders. That will be at Swoopy King Center here at 5 o'clock p.m. Catch all year round here, only watching here on Son of Beast on my channel. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. We've got, got tons of more underway soon. That'll be coming underway momentarily. Now Pritchard will have it again to Al Horford of a new line group substitution. Brown now finds Hauser. Hauser trying to step it in, not finding it again to Brown. Brown around Milton, and that's good. Jalen Brown with the second bucket with 2.11 to go. It's just good when Jalen Brown has that one covered in there. He's got to make that one a lot of quick, quick step motion. Oh, Al Horford! That rejects it off with the shot near the two minute mark. Now this is not what they all say now because uh, Al Horford has been really taking all of his chances. Never got a block shot, but he finally got one in the playoffs. That's a cash out. No way. Deny. Shut them down. Healed on Hauser. Finds a pass to Tyrese Maxey. The screen for Embiid. Here's a take. Floater. No good for Tyrese Maxey. Aiden Pritchard now has it again to Al Horford. Tyrese Maxey only has two, but he's looking to get more to get another couple games on its way. Brown right towards the new slot. Nearing in. Finding Tillman Sr. Sr. Pulling it around over MB. Yeah, that's up for releases as MB takes a rebound. Hard spill. Can't let that one fool you out. Here's a take. Maxey with the slam. After Heal with the assist. Now let the crowd let it go for a rumble. They love that throw down on that side of the angle. Now Pritchard finds Horford. One minute left to remain in the first quarter. Has it again to Hauser. Hauser. Find a pass. Hauser trying to look for the cut. Jalen Brown for the two. And this one is knocked off the rim and it goes back again to Tyrese Maxey. 
Maxi trying to make his way to heel. Three for Melton. Still going back. Up again, and B, good to go. And they're up by three to start the first quarter. You say what Jordan B does, he, he makes them look really like a, a little worse, but can't let that one pull out. Horford brings it back now again to Jalen Brown. Brown finds the pass to Horford. Six on the shot clock for the two. He will take it in there. That will be another two pointer for Al Horford, his first bucket. That appears this has to be a lot harder than they are taking. This won't be a lot harder when he gets them through. Maxi unable to reach out with a layup drive, and this one will go back to Pritchard. Tightness and a roughness can't help that one fool you. Now pass to Brown. Right toward the corner with three seconds. And will he take a three? And he sinks it! On a strong range for Philadelphia, it's now a leadoff score. Oh, uh, they never saw what Pritchard did. How can you do that? They just can't let that fool you. No stopping going between. They are up by two. It's a 20 to 18 score. End of the first quarter. Second quarter is coming up after the break. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. And if you're just tuning here, we've got your second quarter coming in action. We're underway in Philadelphia. Now with the tape, Boston and Philadelphia both met each other since the pandemic year in a part of the Eastern Conference, but this wasn't the day when he had started it. Now, I know what you're thinking right now. It's just what they have been doing it for all ever since they were playing it on the real life games. That scenario is not really turning out to be big. But all of us concerned is, they really are just making that one feel like it's a good, uncomfortable of the game. But they won't let that one keep on coming there if they wanted to keep that one stopping out of sight. There are quite the two. You will not take it in there as another rebound puts up by Kyle Lowry. Uber Jr. looking for a tag back to Lowry. Nearing the corner, heels for three. Misses her in the triple range. Jason Tatum with his first rebound has it again to Warford. Ball stolen by Harris. But he healed with the ball. Trying to let it go. Harris for the three. Triple mark. Loses a range. And this one goes back up again to Porzingis. Still again to Holiday. Holiday now finds Tatum. Tatum swings it over now again to Porzingis. Porzingis trying to let it go free. Here's Tatum. Tatum. Now finds it again to Horford. Six on a shot clock for the two. It's good. He takes it in as Horford has a second bucket. Just really got to make sure if you have that one bucket in range, try to make sure you have it at the right, right side. Kyle Lowry gives it off to Harris. Harris trying to battle its way in. Trying to go with the arc. Trying to attack it in the paint. Avoiding a three second violation. Last touch called by Drew Holiday as the Sixers will keep it alive with 637 to go. And we have a looking update for Jason Tatum for this season. Yeah, you're pretty sure now for Jason Tatum. That's what he was doing. Make that problem. And, uh, and just the promise work, it's just how it happens for Jason Tatum. From the University of Duke, he's been really like he's all for the promise. All just happened now. Everything is promise. Make sure he does it out at all. The foul called on Derek White. That's his first personal on the number two foul calls on Boston. Now, this is not what Buddy Field has been doing after playing with the Indiana Pacers. He's been really like taking all his time. He just got that one rejected, and it just happened, and like he caught up red handed. That is a foul. That's an easy call for the referees to make. Buddy Hill at the free throw line, shooting two on, with only 6.34 left to go in the first half of the period. First free throw hits in for Buddy Hill. You always say now for Buddy Hill, he's like already on a flying flow. May not be what you're looking for, but he's all in it. When he takes his all time, his better range in offense does have a keeping handle. Yeah, Buddy Gill has been really been the best. Ever playing with this since the Sacramento Kings, and then he makes a travel to Indiana, and now he's ready to join in with the team of the Sixers. And you always gotta say, it, when, when you have the right woman here, you, you always gotta have that one with a lot of chance. I have to say for now, it, it's for Buddy Gill to make his all time professional. He's making his debut on his way down. 
Now Porzingis will have it over now again, covering back over to White. White trying to look for an answer. Drew Holiday, no open look, and this one misses. Porzingis around his back, and he will have that through. Porzingis with the rebound, and he has a second bucket. 24 20 to score as they trail by four. Now Peel has it over to Reed. Oh, Porzingis just had that one with a piece of it. Took it away. Now I never know what happened now. How could he just make that one rejected? There's no foul call. That is no way. This can't be happening like that at all. Porzingis over Lowry. The layup puts in. He has six points. Assisted to Holiday. 5.30 left to go in the first half of the quarter as he'll take the timeout with only 5.27 to go. Being some alive helps here on the offense. Yeah, sure do. They gotta make sure they have it all cleared up so they get their fruit. When you have the most of that time, take your moment to uh, have some a little bit of breath, catch it with it when you have it, and don't let that one get cool. This may be no tricker if they have it. We reach down right towards the end of it with under 5.30. The next one will be coming in We'll take a few minutes with the break, and Porzingis, rejection and the drive, pull it in. The NBA Playoffs in 2K Sports is brought to you by your local key dealers, Moment Band Spires. American Express, don't live life without it. And by Starry Lines. If you already make your ticket selection here for, for a new season of the NBA, you can catch on down here after the summer is finished. And you can definitely check on out for a new part of the season for your favorite teams by visiting on to the NBA.com slash tickets as you will be able to enter in for the 2024-25 season for a new part of the year. And don't worry, there will be a bunch of games underway for you to go check them out. Uber Jr. trying to make their way for the two and rolls in and out. That would have had to attempt to clear it back to go back down by, by four. Holiday. It's again a holiday. Here's Tatum. Tatum slides it back now, finds White. White with the finishing roll, and he takes it in. White with six points after Tatum with the assist. This has to be like it's a gross closing gap. Got to make sure you are able to have that finger roll in there and take that one. And then Jason Tatum says, go for finger roll. He made that one an easier look to take. And Ball's tipped it over. Here comes Tatum on the finish drive. And he's got a fucking one. Jason Tatum showing how it's done in Philadelphia after the foul's called on Kelly Oubre Jr. Jason Tatum. He hits the free throw as Jason Tatum has three. You know, he's your way for the processor, but this one is just a showdown to take. When Jason Tatum really makes his way through, he has to get it clean. It's not what the hard one takes, but don't let that one anybody get in the right. Lowry unable to hit the three as it's rebounded by Porzingis. Fans are not happy with that at all as Porzingis has another rebound that's number five. Now here's White. Four minutes going by in the first half, and now he gives it off to Al Horford. Al Horford decided to deliver the screen off on Porzingis, over with the shot, and that will take it in. Al Horford with his third bucket of appearance against the Sixers. Now it's a 33-20 game, as now Payne will take their next timeout for Philadelphia. 3.49 left to go in the first half in the second quarter. All right, in just a few more minutes, we will have a halftime show. that will be in the way here shortly for the 2K Sports. As Ernie Johnson, Shaq, and Kenny the Jet Smith are on their way to get these things covered here for the first half of the game. And don't worry, we got your next part of the game underway soon as we have the 
Next one, the Pacers against the Cavaliers. That will be the next part of the game underway at Gamebridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. That will be the next part of the game here after this courtesy of the game is finished. Some changes for the Sixers and for the Celtics as they're on changing in between the offense and defense. Now Cameron Payne will have the ball. Try to give up to Embiid. In the corner, covered by White. Watching the cut inbound. Three for Uber Jr. And it's pulled back. And fight back for Derek White. Oh, that takes it over here with a payback lesson on Embiid. I don't know what's going on, but that is a takeaway. Three quarter can't hit the drop for Jason Zeta. Maxi trying to watch it for the cut. And stolen by Porzingis. Here comes Zeta. Finishing up with the drive. Oh, he went off with uh, Tobias Harris. He just says, no, no, I have it all. It takes over for a lesson. That payback is going to disrespect on someone. It's not going to be like an easier taking, but Jason Tatum, oh my gosh. And beating the corner, trying to look for it to throw down, and the reach and fouls called on the Celtics is Jalen Brown with his sports personal. Their second team foul on Boston. The next new changeups coming in as Melton and Batum are checked in. Three for Melton. It's good. Outside range puts it in. And it's now back to a 35-23 game. Easy does it. Easy goes. Got to make sure he keeps that gun. Here, here's Embiid with a steal. And here's Melton on the fast break. Over around White. Denied. White with three blocks in the game. And now it's back to Drew Holiday. And he will slam it down. That will be seven points for Drew Holiday after Brzezikas with the assist. They're really like they're having a lot of hard throwdowns in between the problems, but they don't want that one to be left alone. Ball stolen, and it's taken over by Jason Tatum. Porzingis now finds Holiday for two. Yes, he does. Another takedown for the defensive break that is Drew Holiday with nine points. They just really are having a hard time. It just can't let that one throw in if there's a problem with that. And number three point misses off for Philadelphia. And Jason Tatum pass it now to Drew Holiday. Holiday now finds again to White, back again to Tatum. Tatum, ground for two, rolls in and out. Maxi with the ball now finds again to Harris. Here's a chance and a throw down on the other way. Puts it back down at the 39-25 game. Oh, there's just going to be a lot of throw downs to take in here. Don't let that one fool you. Quick move, now finds Brown. Just six to shoot. Finds a pass. Holiday for the three. This one's off the mark, and it's another three-point miss opportunity for Boston. Harris with the ball. For the three. Kaboom, that's inside. With one minute to go, here's Porzingis. Porzingis now finds a pass, get to White. White trying to deliver it off to Brown. Brown trying to look it over in here in the corner, now finding it in the middle. Porzingis, the layup, it's good. Porzingis with eight points. With under 40 seconds, it's Brown with the assist. Just keep coming, just keep coming, and it comes around in that next one. You know, I always love seeing what goes in for the next part of the game. And it's stolen here by Porzingis. Now it's just going to be a bad call. You're just going to make the bad pass even coming in the worse. 
It's not what you always do, and you're just having a little bit difficult time to try to look for an open hand. Now here's Tatum. Tatum for the two. On the arc's good. Jason Tatum with seven points on a roll now. Yeah, they're definitely going to close it off in the first half now. Maxi on holiday. Three for the two. And he takes his turn and he makes a three. And it ends off the first half a 43 31 game. This one's not even easier, but you can always say we're coming in for the next one. Be back soon. Now to send you over to the Alley LaFour. Say, Alley. I'm here with Nick Nurse, and coach. I saw you imploring your team to pick it up. Where do you need to be better in the second half? Uh, we're not very good uh, offensively right now. I think we're taking some okay shots, but we got to be a little bit more patient and keep moving around a little bit. Be multiple quick touches rather than just one. So we just got to do a little bit better job of getting off and relocating a little bit. Patience is a virtue. Thank you, coach. All right, Ali, thank you so much. Stand by for the halftime show as we will be ready for you for the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody, welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jetsman. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. And in that period, the most they trailed by was three. Just a great first half from them, especially in the second quarter. They're up 12. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the Celtics. They're losing some great offense right now. Working the ball in the good spots, taking what the defense gives them, not forcing the shots. We'll see if they can take that discipline in the second half. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Philadelphia? Well, the effort hasn't been there in terms of rebounding the ball. They're getting outworked in that part. Of it. You've got to be more physical to turn this thing around. I don't know if they have the personnel to do that. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back to Philadelphia for the start of the third quarter. It's a 43-31 game. What an effort list to take up Joel Embiid. He's been really been processing his institute, but he might be taking his way on his, to his next level. While the patient doesn't really happen for Joel Embiid, he might be just taking another step in forward, so let's find out if he does. I would love to see at that point. If Joel Embiid gets that rejection, I would know that would be a great payback on them. We start things off as Larry is with Drew Holiday. Jason Tatum is with Tobias Harris. Derek White is Tyrese Maxey. Bennett Brown on Lou Gray Jr. and Porzingis on Embiid. Tatum in the corner now on, on Harris. And a layup, and he's no problem at all. Jason Tatum with nine points in the game. He's just really battling it up for himself. Go Tatum to be on the lookout. Three quarter can hit the mark for Kelly Oubre Jr. And then a rebound by Porzingis. He's over now again to Holiday. Holiday swings it now over again to Tata. Tata, back pass to Porzingis. Up for two, and good. Porzingis with 10 points. He's all through it right now. He's been, looked like he wanted to dominate the ball. Just really got to make sure if he can get this one here at the right timing. No questions asked. Reach and foul, call down Jason Tatum. That will be his first personal and their first team foul for Boston Celtics with 7 5 to go. Larry with the ball, trying to cut in. Open three for Oubre. Get it back. Back to Oubre for another three. And it's good. He finally has it. As Oubre Jr. with his first three-pointer of the night after it be. Well, now you face the catch already. You got to make sure you got that one playing in the three. And that's a good offense. You got that open there. Jason Tatum, open three. Oh, he just made that one in the other way. He says, right back at you. 12 points after Uber for the three. Big game's not over yet. You can't let that one lose at all. Porzingis adds another rebound with his eighth rebound of the night. Now here's a chance now. As he gets it over to Holiday, now back to White. 
It is White. Heard a step up two. And good. Derek White. Another two pointer has been released. It's now at 70 field goal range over 38. It's going to be a hard one. It's not what you've been playing it for, but don't let him get loose if you can. Tobias Harris with a two. Misses again. Jalen Brown with the ball. Now finds again Holiday. Holiday. Porzingis. Back again to Tatum. Tatum. Delivers it off to Brown. Brown for the two. Takes another win in. And another timeout call by the Sixers with 5 3 to go. Well, they're just going to have to top it over now. I mean, they don't let that happen. They don't let it leave. It's not turning out great. You just can't let that flow in. And we just got that one coming into another great stray off game to get another break and get back into work. Just the pressure now, Jalen Brown. The team's on fire. That can be very comfortable. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything. Your local key dealers, a moment that inspires. And by Adidas. New changes for the Sixers and for the Celtics. As Buddy Hill is checked back on the court. And we have a good status here for Joel Embiid of each point in a game of every year to season. His better range is better technique here. And that was the part of it and you really have to enjoy it. Ever since the most of it for 2023 and 24, you've been really been pushing it out for ever since. But keep an eye on it there. You're going to get a lot of target in the range. It's better than that one. You're always going to make sure when you get this one right at the timing, make sure you get it in clean. Now here's Buddy Heel. Hasn't scored yet in each couple of periods in the first, only just the first half. But the second half hasn't scored yet. Lowry, back to Heel. For the three... Triple mark, no good. Al Horfler with his second rebound. Now we'll have it over back again to Holiday. 5.20 left to go in the third quarter. Now has it now again to Tatum, again to White. White, off to Harper. Horford gives again. Jason Tatum with a step in, and that's good. Another two pointer kicks it off for another look. And it's Al Horfler with the assist. Tatum's got 14 points, five minutes to go. Joel Embiid, slides it back for two, and he misses again. Uh, he's just definitely not even just getting it close enough right now. Nick Nurse was trying to let him teach for now. He can't even try to complain with that. It just can't let them go in. I mean, that that's all that happens now. I mean, he's just really getting bad into it. The bounce pass back to White. Five seconds to shoot for the two for White, and good. Derek White with 10 points, 58-34 to score. They are already on pushing in P. Uber Jr. on the outside. Has a cut. Watching corner. And shot. He's fouled. Derek White with a second personal and a second team foul called on Boston Celtics. Now that's the problem. You're never going to foul it again, but don't let him get a hand on. Uber Jr. with the free throw line shooting two. And if there are fouls, been called on Derek White. They'll get another free field trip percentage here for the Sixers with only 4.14 to go. Two. Uber Jr. hits the first free throw. Now with some new changes, Paul Reed will check in for... Tobias Harris. Joel and B trying to watch on him carefully now, but can't let them handle. As we know for Buddy Heald, it's a chariot rainer, and he's a professional ba Bahamian basketball player that played here for college basketball for the Oklahoma Sooners. At this moment, he was named the Big 12 Conference, and this one player of the year since 2015-16. But this was in the day that he has been all trying to be crazy for. Yeah, just all when you say, you think of playing for their offensive sooner, but that's what Buddy Hill has been going for. He just made that one really clear. He just getting good. Duality with the cut, foul, and he just got bumped out. 
Kyle Lowry calls the engravement, and this one will be sending him to the free throw line for just one. Well, I must say now, he must have been bumped up a year on Kyle Lowry, so he's going to have to stay and stand back. Yeah, the problem for now is he's not doing really well. You can't let him box, box out. He's going to have to uh, get pushed out of here for some other reasons. It doesn't really work for him at all. Makes the first free throw. And now, with the new substitution of change, as now Batum will be checking in for Joel Embiid. And Kyle Lowry's out, as right now Cameron Payne's checked in. Makes the free throw in. With under four minutes, here's Payne. Here's Payne. We'll have it now, get to read. Here's a three for Gil. Good range. The outside puts it in. Back down with a 68-39. And White calls timeout for the Boston Celtics. Well, they're on fire now. Buddy Gil. What a takeover. You just have to make sure you get this one right. And we've come down to the range. 341 to go. Looking to see what they can do. Keep rolling. Let's see what you can do. As the Indiana Pacers are ready to rumble down on the court in Indianapolis, they'll be facing against the Cavaliers. So that'll be the next game underway at 5 p.m. Catch all of you around here by watching it down here only on Sunny Beast and playlist from season four to the current season. But as for the new season, we'll be underway here shortly to get ready to get back into action. It will be season nine, and this will be the next one to take in for NBA 2K25. Now, back in it right now is Hauser. He will find again to Tatum. Tatum. The back pass almost broken up as Brown will have it again to Hauser. Hauser for the finish and drive, unable to clear it out. This was nowhere near, and it, this doesn't happen most of the time. Better offense, very sorry. Cameron Payne misses the three pointer, and they're losing control now. It's a 3 10 left to go in third. They need to find another one to take. Pritchard from the outside now finds Jason Tatum. Tatum right toward it against Batum. Brown. Up for two. Another miss by Busted. He's just trying to get that one in there. It's no way he can get in there to win. Free takes it in for a bunny heel. We've under three minutes. And now the force of the sideline death man to report. As for all he knows, Joe Mazula really has been stepping in with his coach on his way in his authentic rule, but it never made me maintain if he had it all down. Well, just how much you can definitely say for Joe Mazula, he makes sure he has that cleared in the attack. Without Brad Stevens, that was the other coach that had been playing for the longest head coach of the year. But now, Joe Mazzula must see what he can definitely try to train off for it. Ball's loose. Batum in the corner. Uber Jr. on the outside, trying to watch the cut. For two, and it's missed again. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter, as Hauser will have it. In the third. It is Pritchard. We're in finishing try. And denied! Kelly Uber Jr. got a piece of the ball. Back to heel. Here's the cut. The two. Three for Payne. He ends off again. Porter with another rebound. Oh man, he's cold now. I guess Cameron Payne's not looking for a day for him here. He's all alone. The two. Slides it down. 60 to 44 is the score. Rolling back down by 26. Pritchard again to Tatum. Tatum tried a little bit over, now finding Brown. Step up for two, and good. Brown has eight points. 62 44 to score, and we're nearing a one minute mark in the third. Payne needs to find something else. Now back to, to Reed. Give it back again to Payne. Three for Ubre. That is again for a wide open look. It's not what's going to happen now, because if you make the three pointer, you make it in. If you don't, you just don't try shooting it again. You can't do the three pointers if you're open wide eight block. Jason Tatum now finds again to Butcher. 
finds a cut to Tatum, and he's good. That is a great pass by Sam Hauser. 16 points for Jason Tatum. They have the extension up by 20. Oubre open look. Takes it in, and he finally has an answer. Jason Tatum with the ball. Tatum sweeps again, now find again to Brown. Brown, letting the clock wind down with 10 seconds, and 10 seconds to the shot clock. Gives off the screen, wanted to take a drive, and he has been all electric tonight. Jason Tatum with 18 points, just down the wire. Another one for Oubre, and he will finish it off with a three, and just only a two-pointer. Pritchard will finish things off in the third quarter. It's a 66-49 game. One more quarter to go, and they will have another timing to get it done soon. Well, not even a chance. If you know how to shoot one, just get it done correctly. Don't let that one happen again. It's all for nothing. Give me it. One quarter left to remain in Philadelphia as we welcome you back at Wells Fargo Center to get stirred up for the fourth. And now the groups are ready. Kyle Lowry is with Drew Holiday. Then it's Derek White, he's with Tyrese Maxey. Fellow along is Tobias Harris on Jalen Brown. Buddy Heal, he's with, he's with the other one of, Tillman, of Porzingis and Tillman Seniors on Paul Reed. Here's Holiday. Gives it back to Porzingis. Grillman Senior against MB. Gives the pass back to Brown. Has it given to Holiday. Off to Porzingis for the two. Spares in and out as Porzingis gives again with the 12 points in the game digit. Number straight, but never let that happen if there's another takeover you want to go with. And B. Two pointer doesn't hit it off the mark, and this one's left out. Here's Tillman Senior, he has it already got to Porzingis. Over now to Holiday. And over with another look. Takes over again to White. He's up for the drive and he's fouled by Kyle Lowry. That's another foul for Philadelphia. And they are blocking it all over again. Yeah, it's just not really clean right now. They, they don't let that happen because this really keeps on coming. Another field trip to the free throw line will be the Boston Celtics with just passing a minute by in the fourth quarter. And it's the first free throw. And now as Buddy Hill will sit out on the court, DeAnthony Melton will be replacing here on the court as he's finished for tonight. And we'll be back for the last one. He makes a second. And now here's another look. Melton for two. Misses again. Another rebound puts it in for Derek White and back to Porzingis. He's off for the drive. And solid performance effort for Tobias Harris. Now Kyle Lowry will have it over now finding an open look. The step in drive. Maxi for two. This is again. Now back the other way. Porzingis almost got the piece of it, but still holds on. Now here's White. For a drive, and he will finish it off with this right hand. It's a 72-49 game. 14 points, now with only 6.15 left to go in the fourth quarter. Melton nearing the corner and beat for three. Misses again. Oh, uh, they're definitely having a slowdown with the patient already because they're not really enough to a good start. He only had 11 points in the first half, but the second half, it's going to be all too soon for him. He never really liked it all. And that's a problem with that. Holiday, Everett again, here by White. Three seconds to shoot. 
and White, my gosh, he has 16 point and he assisted by Drew Holiday. Now he's definitely really all into it now. I mean, you got to make sure he does it all for good ones to take. And Tobias Harris with the ball for two, and it's good. He makes another two pointer. It's a 74 51 game. Comparison between Tatum and Harris with SAT trails, point by eight. Porzingis off to a number drive in the reverse. And Derek White with the assist. He has 14 points. 5.15 left to go in the fourth quarter. Lowry against Porzingis. No screen given here with an offensive foul. Melton against White. Bumps up. The two-pointer misses again. Drew Holiday has his fourth, fourth rebound. Until then, Senior having a little bit of trouble here. Brown with 4.45 left to go. Has it now back to Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Finds White. Over now to Senior. He's up, and he finally has it in. That's his first bucket after assisted by White. Now look at the transition here. You, you ever see what happens now? You can still been seen here. He's really made this one in there. That's, that's a perfect layup and he's been kicking it off. But that's what's nowhere near. He had it all timing it down. And beat up. The two is good. Drawing B kicks it off again with another two point bucket score. White backs up finding Brown. Brown finds again to White. White finding again, now to Tillman Sr. He gets a liver liver over down to Brown. Brown trying to swing it off to White. For the two. And he does it again. Derek White with 18 points with under four minutes. Largest lead in game three of the night. Yeah, they really are into a bounding on the successful range, but they really can't let that stop again. And now they keep on missing it. Philadelphia Sixers are slowing down. They're out of gas now. I mean, come on, bro. I mean, nobody has that one opinion out, and they're really having a hard time. They, they don't really want that one to get it chopped up. That's going to be a hard one to take. Nobody likes that. Now he's to take for Brown for the two. And he doubles it up again with a number two with Jalen Brown with 10 points and assisted by Porzingis. That keeps on coming in now, and they are rolling on again to another one for the points. Always have making fun out there, man. Yeah, I know. Definitely, I would expect. The rebound puts it up for Tobias Harris, and he will have it in. Under three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, 82 55 is the score. White now finds it again to Holiday. Holiday's finding to back, bounce pass to Porzingis. Finds now again to Brown. Brown trying to handle it off. Give again and go to Holiday. Holiday for two. Misses off the jumper and now back to Harris. Harris looking it over now finding again to FMB with the layup and reverse. Now he has a point in comparison over Porzingis' point with 14. Just have to keep on going down if you have the largest to take over Katie comparison right along the way. White in the corner. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Holiday for three. This one's hit off the rim and it's back again to Lowry. Tyrese Maxi. Lowry for the two. And another miss by Philadelphia. Three for Harris. Good. Tucking it down in there. It's now 82 to 60 game. Well, it may not be hard enough, but everybody's leaving right now. I mean, this is like a hard, longest lead game of a night. It never's going to happen. It never going to happen again. Now, Brown finds again a Porzingis. Has it over now to Brown. Brown, side step, finds Tillman Sr. Down the fire on the shot clock. With a shot, White, unable to get it or two. Tyrese Maxi in the corner finding out you but checked it off by Holiday. Tillman Sr., here comes Brown, finishes up, and a two-pointer ducks it off. He has 12 points, and Tillman Sr. with the assist. 
they are just having fun out there. That Boston Celtics, they're really on a full extension. They're off, and they're ready to take, a, take their next game to finish it off. The face against the Sixers, and if they win, they're moving on to the second. Now he finds again to Holiday. Holiday gives it over now, finding it again to White. Up and over get pass to Tillman Sr. For a two. Misses again. Joel and Bieber for number two. And now Melton trying to give off a handle. Here's Maxi. Lay it. Puts it in. Let the clock wind down with 30 seconds. As Holiday will now have it over to give to Brown. He now will have it over. Last go ahead for chance for White. And this one will go right down to 15 seconds in a quarter. And a star of that moment will not be all for anybody who can take it from here. And Brzingis will have the last shot, and he will take it in. And it will be 16 points to finish the game. Yeah, it's definitely what happens now. I mean, that's all you can care for. Just finish it off that true. And that's going to do here. The final score, 86 to 64 is your final score. We hope this everybody's turning out to be a great one today as the Boston extend 3 0 over Philadelphia. And that's going to wrap it up, folks. Sonic Beast, along with Fan and, of course, Tyler Beast, along with Valley of the Force, this has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Next game underway will be the Pacers and the Cavs. Stick around with you here as we have another one underway. Thanks for joining us and have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Have a great night in Philadelphia. All right, as I mentioned to say now, this has been a quiet night here in Philadelphia. Here's how you do it the total statistics. 67 for the field goals for Boston Celtics. 37 for Philadelphia Sixers. And a free throw is turning to be a perfect percentage here for Boston. 16 fast break points for Philadelphia. Van points in paint was 42 for Boston Celtics. 13 and 18 second chance and point bench points was Philadelphia. Van 33 assists was Boston Celtics. 8 for Philadelphia on defensive rebounds. 30 defensive rebounds for Boston Celtics. 5 steals and 6 blocks with 4 turnovers for Boston Celtics. 14 fouls were even. 4 dumps were performed for Philadelphia. 29 biggest lead and 1807 was the time of possession. For Boston Celtics. Yeah, just gotta make sure you have a believe it in there. They really are starting to show strong in support. Now it's time for your three star players of the game. Life Ray. Alright. Thank you so much. Third star of the game is just starting off big, and we're gonna give it off to Kristaps Porzingis with 13 rebounds, three blocks in the game, one steal, four assists, and 11 field goals in the range, and he only had 24 performance ever. He just made that one easy enough to take the real life and the world beyond. By his appearance, and he does it all. Your second star player of the game starts in top here. We've got a great ones in between, Derek Quiet and Jason Tatum, but Tatum is your number two star of the game. 18 points, two rebounds, with six assists and two steals. He had a 10 field goal range and one three-pointer and three three-pointers. Only had it in between the first and second half. And 30 performance effort was all turning to be great. Just how it happened to go one by one. And your first star player of the game. That's right. I have a great feeling for you. Derek White, your new balance player of the game. He also had 18 points or two, but this time he has three rebounds, three assists, two blocks, eight out of ten field goals. Yeah, ten field goals, excuse me. And 24 performance effort with one dunk. He's been a better player than ever. Stick around for our next game, as he'll be on his way for another matchup for the last one. And that's going to do here for the first game. If you enjoyed this one, the next game will be underway here soon. Stick around later as we got the Cavs and the Pacers. In tonight's game, we've got the Pelicans and the Thunders here at New Orleans before Denver Nuggets and the Warriors at Chase Center. You don't want to miss that one out here. It's going to be a lot of great takes in between, so... You'll see them pretty soon. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports Style. Me, phone, and Mike Frame. So long in Philadelphia. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.